the World Cornhole Championships will pit players against each other as they attempt to score points by tossing one pound sandbags either on or through a board placed 27 feet away. To win matchups, competitors will use a variety of shots and techniques. To help us break down this wildly popular game, we enlisted California State singles champ, Nick Renovitz. Having no idea how to play, naturally, I challenge him to a match. Oh! And my lessons in the science of cornhole begin with the slide shot. To initiate this type of shot, players launch the bag at roughly 40 degrees. That's about 17% lower than an optimal basketball shot. This lower trajectory means that a bag's forward momentum can cause it to slide past the point of contact by more than a foot. To direct the movement toward the hole, competitors will typically impart about 150 RPM of spin onto their bags. This added rotation helps keep the bag flat as it lands, preventing it from deviating from a straight line path. Next, the blocker. To obstruct an opponent's path to the hole, players can try to land bags directly in front of it. But to nail this placement, while also dealing with the bag slide, competitors often send it with the twill side face down. Compared to the bag's smoother suede side, the twill fabric will increase friction forces between the bag and board, helping reduce its slide by more than 60%. And finally, the airmail shot. To score over a blocker, a player has the option of tossing a bag directly through the hole. But to thread the needle on this shot requires deadly precision. In fact, all else being equal, if a bag's launch velocity is off by just half a mile an hour, a player will miss their target by about a foot. In our match, I applied all of these techniques and put them to good use. Final scores, 21-0, oh. 21-0, and 21 to one. But to be honest, it really wasn't as close as the scores indicate. To put in perspective how difficult it is to hold a shot, consider this. Relative to the size of the entire board, the hole itself only takes up about two and a half percent. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.